the Duster has been a pioneer in the compact SUV segment for years and years. But from being a pioneer, it is now relegated to being a fringe player in the segment. But Renault is determined to not give in just yet and has driven in the turbo petrol version of the car. The Duster has always been a fun car to drive, but does the turbo add a little more excitement and a little bit of more muscle to the vehicle? I'm Shubhadeep Chakravarti and here we are to find out. The Duster Turbo gets a few visual elements to distinguish it from 2019 facelift version. This includes a red addition on the chrome grille at the front, red hues on the section just above the fog lamp, new 17-inch diamond cut alloys and prominent Duster badging on the roof rails. There is also the turbo tag at the rear. The cabin of the Duster remains a tad too simple, especially when you compare it to what the likes of Kia and Hyundai have on offer. Bare minimums like automatic AC, driver armrest and engine start-stop switch are present and while the riding position is nicely commanding, there's not much else to report on from here. The SUV from Renault has always been my favourite when it comes to sheer drive dynamics. Steady, planted and yet eager when you want it to be. The Turbo Duster just builds on these attributes in a rather stately manner. There is power for the taking and for someone who has been a regular in the Duster, the bump up is quite evident. Is it menacing? No. Is it confident? Sure. The 1.3 litre four cylinder turbocharged petrol engine is nicely poised to deliver the required momentum when needed, but not in a way that would hurl you back. The CVT transmission option complements the engine well and the duster keeps itself composed till about the 1500 RPM before pressing forward if you need it to. Ride quality is once again top-notch inside the Duster and the heavy steering is now even more reassuring because triple-digit speeds may be easier to reach with the more powerful engine. On the flip side though, when pushed to the absolute limits, the engine noise does sneak in. Also, while the turbo packs in power, it may not beat its direct rivals from Korea in flat-out drag races. It is in it for the refinement not quite for the exuberance. The manual mode deserves a special mention if you want to extract an extra bit of fun and is really nice to engage through all the seven gears. That said, paddle shifters would have been even better. The Duster Turbo is a step in the right direction. There is no denying that the car still prioritizes drive dynamics above all else. And while the feature list is still bare, the car offers a lot of bang for your bucks for a confident drive if that's what you're after. I'm Shubhadeep Chakravarti and thank you so much for watching this edition of HD Auto Reviews.